Hey guys, it's Level of It, and welcome to episode 2, The Wall Decor. And today we're going to be fixing the walls, but first we need to have our breakfast, and today I get to have my Starbucks. I love pumpkin bread, I love banana nuts, but today I'm going to have the pumpkin bread with my white mocha and whipped cream, and he will have his mocha venti with banana nut bread, no whipped cream. This has been a super busy morning. We dropped his truck off, grabbed coffee, and we ate as we drive to the new house. Welcome to my humble home. And today we're going to spend most of our time here just fixing up the walls. I honestly love watching him build things. It's not just having such a great thing um, or great products afterwards, it's just watching him build one thing at a time the way he works. There's just something sexy about it for me. And add that little rim, the small stick all around the house because I don't really like the base. So around the light switch, I'm thinking of adding a frame to them so it looks more like a photo rather than light switch because I think it's kind of ugly like that. So I'm going to take count of all the light switch and things I want to frame. This one. Uh-huh. And this would be my little wall art area. Still thinking about it. So I spent most of the day just helping him um, measure, draw out, do math, and um, just decide how I want things to be. I'll help bring him his tools. I mean, even if I can't build, I can still help. And it's really about keeping him company, to be honest. So it got a little bit too cold for me to handle, so I'm out in the car right now. Um, it's been three hours and um, we're waiting for to pick up Chris' truck because he brought it in for maintenance and Chris is finishing up the stair. Um, my toes, I, w I wore Tom's today and it was just not keeping myself warm. I had a feeling that maybe I should have worn my snow boot, but then I thought against it, that wasn't my idea. It got to the point to where I couldn't really feel my feet. It feels like I'm walking two blocks of ice, and so um, I didn't have to go out in the car for a little bit just so I can feel my toes. And right now I can wiggle my toes again, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back in there and cheer them on. <laughs> the fragmented wood I'm really thinking of doing this kind of shape um, to one of the room in here this way I can whenever I'm advertising clothes I can be right in the middle of it so perhaps um, three of them this way going down so maybe three of the same kind of like fancy design white glowing from the gray I'm definitely thinking that so this could be my recording area okay, it looks nice and fancy for clothing and over here or you can bring that over here. I don't know. I really want to do that frame for here. Um, it'll be good for recording. Close to you. 
So we were here at 8 in the morning. It is now um, 4 p.m. So we're gonna go pick up Chris' um, car and then call it a day since we are out of all the stuff we need. We got done with all of the shoe. Um, most of the stuff needs to be ordered in a little more. But yeah, overall I know what I want to put and wear. And we realized toward the end that the house has heat. And so it, was, it got a lot warmer toward the end. So yeah, now I won't suffer every time we come here to decorate or to fix. Um, we're gonna build a fire pit. So that's going to be really, really fun. So last few things we're gonna decide on the flowers. So there's going to be lots of flowers been grown. So I'm gonna ask for my mother-in-law for a lot of advice. Uh, definitely gonna turn this place into a home. And yeah, now that I'm looking at this huge backyard since there's no house being put up yet, um, it's going to be really fun. A lot of parking space, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> so something else I have been thinking about is now that we have such a massive basement, I'm thinking about turning into a dance studio since we are turning into like a bar-like kind of lounge under basement. So I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure. So after a long day of him working on the house, I decided that we're just going to stay in and I'll cook something. So as he's playing his video game, I'm just going to whip up something that I find in the fridge. This way, no food goes to waste and we can just get creative and try something new. But then I found some chaka, which is like fish paste. And I remember her recipe and so the whole time I'm thinking like, can I really really succeed at this and so I gave it a try and you know, I was praying for the best and it ended up amazing. Chris ate everything and I totally found an alternative to making this one soup that my mom made. Instead of using the shrimp, I used a gan instead, mainly because the shrimp has higher cholesterol and uh, it's not as healthy and we've been eating shrimp so much this whole week that I thought it's time to kind of cut back a little. Okay, so for my fish cake or for my chaka, I like making it a little more mak um, mak, which is kind of saltier. So I like using squid sauce. Um, but when I'm using squid sauce, I only apply a little bit of it at a time. Kind of let it soak in, and you don't want the fire to be too strong. You kind of want the fish sauce to really seep into the fish. This spoon of oak satay looks like it's a lot, but really it isn't. Um, I love the way it tastes. It's just. It's amazing and this is sugar that I'm adding in and you apply this based on how much fish sauce you use and so let's say if you made it a little bit too salty just add a little more sugar or a little bit of water just a teensy bit of water just to kind of mellow it out so now I'm just cutting up the leaf and by now the Brussels sprout should be boiling I take it out and I use the same broth to cook this um, leaf in for my soup so by now, my fish or chaka should be done. I take three-fourths of it out. And the one-fourth that I do have left of the fish cake, I'm going to use that as the broth or the main broth for my soup over here. Using the water from the broth itself, I'm going to apply a little bit into the pan. This way I can really get all of the sauce or the fish sauce that's on the side. This way nothing go to waste. That and it's just, you're going to need to add a little more fish sauce because that is a lot of water in that broth um, bowl over there. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and um, cook this broth on this pan as I kind of marinate it. And make sure you make it a little bit more... Um, salty mainly with the fish sauce of course because you once you pour this whole pan into the soup you're gonna have to retaste it to make sure that it's exactly how you like it eating and it tastes delicious okay the last step is adding a little bit of pepper and then you're done enjoy anyways it is seven o'clock it is time for chris and i to have dinner thank you so much for watching and here are the other clip from my snapchat so today's day one and fixing the house. Your house is so cold that you stub your toe really hard and you can't feel it but you know it's gonna bleed the moment it's thawed out. Oh. Something healthy and easy. 
I'm craving chicka, so yeah. Unless y'all wanna come over and have some Beethoven. <laughs> I'm liking my sexy legging. And the quality of this camera. 